All right, so I'm going for a walk. Um, I did not, <clears throat> excuse me, I made a weird sound. Um, I did not have breakfast today, so I'm getting a little hungry. I brought a uh, granola bar with me, so I may open that up sometime between this video and the next. Um, but, ooh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my knees. <laughs> I worked out my legs yesterday, so I'm really sore. But, uh, ooh, it's really soft. I love moss. It's so nice. It's nice and soft, and it's a nice lush green color. You know? I like it. Oh, my legs. I don't want to get up now. <laughs> oh, that hurt. But, uh, yeah, look at those uh, mushrooms. They look pretty cool. Oh, but, uh, yeah, I'm just walking around, thinking about stuff, as always. Um, getting into those deep philosophical assets of my mind. And, uh, you know, the more I think about it, the more I kind of give up, um, just trying to figure out what is actually going on. And it's kind of sad to give up, I admit. I don't really want to give up trying to figure out what this is that I'm in and um, what I'm experiencing and all that, but I'm just giving up. I think that trying to figure this out, whatever this is that we're in front of experiencing, it's, it's just never going to be known. You, you can't find it. Not here. And, uh, you know, the more I research it, the more I think about it, I think the only truth that can be found somewhere, if anywhere, is uh, not out here and not anywhere, really. It's just within yourself. And uh, honestly, completely honest, honestly, um, the entire truth of this is that uh, it's really happening. And pretending like it's not is just a coping mechanism. And protect, pretending like this is some sort of magical, um, you know, voodoo or something like that is also pretty delusional. It is magical, I'm not going to lie to you. Existence is entirely magical. This is an absolute miracle. And this isn't it. It can't be. This cannot be it. I know it's not it, but it's all I've got right now, and it's all you have right now. And to hope for something we don't have right now, something else, wanting something more, is, um, is not healthy. It's not because you will fall into this uh, this rabbit hole of, of hunger for something more, some other experience that you aren't having. And you you will fall into entire just utter insanity. If you try to look for something that isn't there.
so I think I'm gonna stop. I think that this is the end of the road for me when it comes to uh, looking for what it is that this is. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Whatever this is, I'm trying to figure out what this is. I think I'm done with that because I've already figured it out. It's just what it is, experience and interpretation. And uh, I'm kind of done reading in between the lines of symbolism within life. And it's probably there, I'm not going to lie, but I'm just done with it. It wasn't meant to be interpreted like a book. You're not supposed to analyze every line of, of information within life. You're just supposed to experience it, have fun with it. And... Uh, you're supposed to, you know, love and, and hate and, you know, get sad time to time. You're supposed to, you know, feel joy, excuse me, joy um, when you go out and experience something really cool and exciting. And you're supposed to get, you know, these emotions you're not supposed to analyze everything you're not supposed to sit there and say why why do i feel love you know why do i um feel excitement over this or why is this making me sad you're not supposed to do all that you really aren't you're just supposed to sit back and enjoy the show and i think that uh that's where i've been wrong all this time is that i've been over analyzing it and i might come back I don't know. I might come back to analyzing whatever I'm experiencing eventually. But I think I just need time to uh, enjoy it. You know? I need a vacation from my work, um, which is analyzing and interpreting everything. It's just, it's too much, you know? So, I'm still going to make videos, guys. Don't worry about that. I'm still going to talk about philosophy. But I think I'm going to look at things from a different point of view um, than before. I think I'm going to look at things um, from a more childlike perspective. I'm just, you know experiencing. You know, a child doesn't really think about what's going on around them. They're just in awe and, uh, you know, they, you know, think the whole thing is pretty crazy, but they sit back and enjoy the ride. And I think I need to start doing that again. I need to stop overthinking everything. That hurt. <laughs> um, so, I guess I'll see you guys later. Get out, enjoy some nature, or enjoy whatever really that you enjoy. Um, I think I'm going to start picking up uh, programming again in the near future. This jacket is so uncomfortable. I mean, I like it. I like leather jackets. I haven't had one before, really. I had one when I was a kid, but I never had one in recent years. I got this as a present. But, uh... As I was saying... <laughs> I think I'm going to start programming again. I think I'm going to do some photography again. I think I'm, uh going to get back into uh, music. I've been really into music recently, but uh, I think I'm going to start doing some music related videos. Um, I've thought about writing some songs, writing some poetry. I might talk to you guys about that. Not really sure. Um, 
I gotta check the time because I'm getting picked up at a particular time. Uh, let me text my mom. <laughs> All right. Hold on a sec. Oh, my fingers are numb. At, let's see, 2.30. All right. Sorry. But I, I think I'm going to uh, pick up my hobbies again. Maybe play some video games again. Do some videos on that. Do some more nature walks. And just stop overanalyzing it, you know? I think I'm going to just go outside and enjoy it. Stop thinking about everything else. And just be in the now, you know? So... I suggest you do the same. If you kind of fall down into this this path of like not knowing what to do with yourself, you know, go back to home base. Go back to where you started. Um, you know, the hobbies that you had, and uh, bring those passions back. Um, I think also I'm going to start painting again. I was in the middle of making a painting and uh, I didn't finish it, so I'm going to finish that and I can show you guys that. When I'm done with it, um, and I can show you some of my other painting paintings, can't even talk um, from the past as well. Um, so yeah, love you guys. It's cold out. My hands are numb. My face is numb. My nose is running. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get sick. I know I am.